Okay, we're going to do 41 and 42. Given this polynomial and the graph of the polynomial, write the polynomial in factored form. In order for us to figure out the complete factorization here, we can use some of the information that we have in this graph. So in this graph, we're given the roots are at negative 1 and negative 2. That means that x plus 1 would have to be a factor of this polynomial, and x plus 2 would also have to be one of the factors. Since we know two of the factors, we can use division to determine what the remaining factors are. So we have some other factors here that multiplied by these two would give us this polynomial. So let's go ahead and start by dividing our polynomial by one of these factors. So it doesn't matter which one you choose, but just divide by one of them to begin. So we'll put the polynomial down here. And we're dividing by x plus 1. So we'll start by putting the x to the fourth here, the first term. x times x cubed is x to the fourth. This would be x cubed. We want a negative x cubed, so this should be negative 2x cubed. This would be negative 2x squared. Multiplied by 1 is still negative 2x squared. We want negative 6x squared, so this needs to be a negative 4, which would make this a negative 4x, which would make this negative 4x but we want positive 4x, so I need to add an 8x, which makes this an 8, and makes this an 8. We know it's a factor, so we know it should divide evenly, so no surprise here that there's no remainder. Now I have this polynomial. The only way I can factor this is to divide it by the other factor that's given. So we've already divided by x plus 1. Now we're going to take the result and divide that by x plus 2. So I'm going to set up another division problem here. I'm going to divide x cubed minus 2x squared minus 4x plus 8 by x plus 2. So we'll put the x cubed here, multiply by x squared. This is 2x squared. I want it to be negative 2, so I'm going to add a negative 4x squared. This is negative 4x, negative 8x. I want negative 4x, so that would be positive 4x. This is 4, and this is 8. Again, it divides evenly. There's no remainder. And now I have something that I can factor so that I can figure out the remaining factors. So if I'm going to factor here, this is positive 4 and negative 4. I can use negative 2 and negative 2. I'm going to use the shortcut factoring method here instead of doing factoring by grouping because I have a 1 in front here. So this is x minus 2 times x minus 2. These are the other factors of the polynomial. So when I write my polynomial in factor form, I have the original two factors that are given to us by looking at the graph. And then I have these two factors. So I'm going to write that as x minus 2 quantity squared. Then the last question is, identify the locations of the polynomial's roots. We already are given two of the roots, negative 2, 0, and negative 1, 0. The other root would be and this is y equals, the other root would be when x minus 2 is equal to 0. So that would be when x equals 2, or 2, 0.